So he's like, I can't do anything right. These powers are a burden. This sucks. I'm just going to go claws. Yeah, I'm like, literally, he tries to claws me. Like, I can see where he's coming from. <laughs> that sounds like it just fucking sucks. Like, just blows. Yeah. Ass. And we're back. We're back with some more Minecraft. Uh, last time we talked about, uh, or Anna told a story about an L she took on Bumble. And now I will tell a story. <laughs> I will tell a story of me taking an L. Oh, so, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Recently, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch with some friends. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those cases where it's like, I hate the game, but like playing it with friends just makes it so much better. Yeah. Um, so we like, we have a, our own little, little Overwatch group that we just, we all play together and it's super fun. And mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know the best way to describe why this happened. Cause it was all, it was so just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but um I guess I was just like I was just jokingly like in the game text chat just saying like how mm -hmm. much I hate the game and shit like that like jokingly of course like I wasn't being yeah, like a negative yeah, yeah. Nancy or nothing but um and so like I'm I guess I was just talking with this person and uh one of my Overwatch friends was like you two should kiss like as a joke <laughs> Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's funny too, because like that game, I think they were on the en enemy team, and one of the other other Overwatch players in the group was like just getting real fucking pissed because they kept beating us. Um, oh. but so I get like a friend request from that person I was talking to on Overwatch, mm -hmm. and like I accept it because mm -hmm. I'm you know I'm a friendly guy. I'm 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 willing to meet new people always. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I accept the friend request and they, 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 uh, DM, like Overwatch DM me like, Hey, I guess we have to kiss now. And I, I jokingly <laughs> said, we do, we do have to kiss. That is something that mm -hmm. we do have to do. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, I'm like, uh, telling the people I'm playing Overwatch with like what's going on in the conversation and they were like oh do you want to do you want to team up like do you want to team together and i was like hell yeah let me Bro, let me you... what's up where do you put your iron i just got some iron out of the fucking oven where do you put it usually i'm just gonna throw out one of your chests because this is yeah, yours, just... right the nine pieces of it yeah just throw it in whatever chest okay. doesn't matter okay i was just smelting <laughs> iron because i needed it but uh no, i'm trying to be i'm trying to be helpful <laughs> to <organize shit. laughs> but um so they were like, "Do you want to? Do you want to team team together?" I was like, "Hell yeah! Let me just ask the the group uh, if if they're down for it," which they were. And you mm -hmm. know, we were joking because like the people I was grouping with, they had met on Valorant and now they're in a relationship, right? So, so I'm 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 their I'm their that. professional third wheel, but they met over <laughs> over gaming, right? And so mm -hmm. they're like, "Dude, what if it's a girl?" And, like, you get to have what we have. I was like, oh, that would be so cool. But I can't get my hopes up. It's probably God a man. Damn, it's bro. Probably, it's probably a man. And so so we get into I'm sorry, it. I was and... just commenting on how deep the hole was. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's deep as fuck. It, I'm at, I like. I stole some of your cobblestone. I'm, I'm going to. Oh, go for it. I don't, I don't. I don't need it. I'm just collecting it for stuff that we might do in the in the potential future in this world. In, in this particular instance, I wasn't asking for permission. I was just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only instance I'll do that because I know there's a fuck ton of it over there. But, but um, <laughs> so like, uh, fucking, we were like, oh, I can't get my hopes up though. It's probably a dude. And then we get into the game chat and it's like, oh, it's actually a girl. What, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like actually a girl. Oh my god. And so you know, I'm putting on I'm putting on the good old fashioned JJ charm, you know. <laughs> the possibility, the possibility, right? So we're yeah, in so we're in a game, we're in we're in a game, we're in a game, right? And I'm um, I'm putting on the charm, I'm joking around, saying funny <laughs> shit, laughing at their jokes, right? Right? And then they hit me with like, "Oh yeah, this is my boyfriend." I'm like, "Fuck." Damn. God damn it. <laughs> All right, Bro, whatever, whatever. We take that out. Thought in your head. We take that out. We take that out. But then, like ten minutes later, they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm like thirty, by the way." I'm like, "Fucking, <laughs> all right." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's, 
it was so really funny. funny actually. It doesn't bother. It doesn't bother me. It's not like the the one thing that the reason why I was so hesitant on telling the story is because like I have told them that you know I have this channel. I haven't said the channel's name, but you know it, there's going to probably be a time where they know about the channel, right? And I don't want to give the illusion that it's just like, oh, I'm only hanging out with them in hopes that they might date me. No, it's like mm-hmm. I genuinely enjoy both of their company, not just the girl, the boyfriend, too. He's awesome. Um, mm-hmm. But like, I, I genuinely enjoy their company. This isn't one of those cases where it's like I'm doing that guy thing where it's like I, I act friendly to a girl. She says no. And then I just don't interact with her ever again. Th- that's that's yeah. fucked up. And I don't like it. And it sucks, yeah. too, because like. I have made that mistake before, not intentionally, but yeah. I have done that, and it's not it's not a, like, it's not a cool thing to do. Yeah, I feel like when people like, especially like when you're first just getting, like like having crushes and shit, you don't like really know what else to do except like get your hopes up and like really just dream about like having a relationship <laughs> with them. I feel like I feel like that yeah, everyone goes through that at least once when they're younger. Yeah. Like, I hope to fucking God that, like, no one's going through that or doing that shit when you get older, because please, guys, yeah, it's, please. It's, it's a shitty thing to do. You don't want to do that to somebody. You don't, nobody owes you a relationship, you know? Yeah. Like, if they say yes and they're not attracted to you, the, literally, like, the best thing you can do is just move on with yourself. It's funny, though, that she ended up being, like, 30, though. That's a stereotype. Yeah, that, that's, like, the, that's, the that's the one thing that where I was just like... <laughs> That was like the one thing where I was like, "Oh, okay." Like I, I was, I was in that headspace of like, "Damn, that sucks." Anyway, mm-hmm. like, like clearly, just like that, that sadness of like, you can't change anything, but it still sucks. But then she yeah. was like, "Oh yeah, I'm 30, by the way." And I was like, "Oh, I don't care anymore." <laughs> no, never mind. Never, never mind. mind. <laughs> you are too old for me. Never mind. She's a cool person. I think she's awesome, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not dating a 30 year old. That's just not yeah. happening. Uh, but yeah, no, that's Actually, that's my, my that's my L. It's funny too, cause funny like L. it's funny too, cause it's like the person I play Overwatch with, they're like, oh, your girlfriend's online. I'm like, no, you can't Shut joke up. like that. You can't joke Shut like up. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, you know you know what? Uh, have you heard about the the Fallout TV show? Yeah, yeah. Have you watched any of Only it? Only vaguely. Fuck no, man. Fallout's never been my thing. Really? Not even not even <laughs> like a, a a tiny interest. I mean, I I. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the aesthetic of it, and I think mm. I've definitely watched like some of the lore videos, but. The only like experience that I've had with any of the games is watching our friend from fucking high school, good old Mercy, who would play yeah. Fallout New Vegas like it was her job. <laughs> but out- outside of that, no, it's never. I don't know. Maybe it could be my thing, but I've I've never really it's, looked it's, into it. It's basically just I like know, sci-fi Skyrim. Yeah, I know Drew's really into it. So I should give it a shot, but I think I think what you should do is I think you should uh, watch the TV show because like there's mm-hmm. no like interconnective lore between the games. Like the only interconnectivity is that it's all it all takes place in the same world where yeah. like America has been nuked by fucking China. But like mm-hmm. no, there's like no like it's not like you have to watch like play through Fallout One and two for like three to make sense in fact most people Mm -hmm. just don't play fallout one and two because they're like they're very different from like the modern games Mm -hmm. but but the reason i asked is because of that new fallout tv show which is actually from what i've heard both from people who have never seen the show or never heard of fallout before and people who have played fallout is that's really good um Hmm. in fact one of the people that I, i play overwatch with i've been playing a fuck ton of uh fallout 76 with which is just like it's Fallout, but you play with other people. Like it's multiplayer Fallout. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no. Like I've I've been I've been getting into the the series again. It's really it's really fucking good. I do think like it's one of those things where I feel like you would like watching someone else play it, but you personally mm-hmm. wouldn't enjoy it. 
Because mm-hmm. it's like, well, if anything, it's it's very similar to D&D, where you can kind of just go anywhere and do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's what I like about Skyrim so much, but everything that I've ended up doing is just, like, robbing places. Mm-hmm. Or just, like, looting a bunch of, like, dungeons and shit. It's yeah. actually kind of my favorite part of the fucking game, I will not lie. <laughs> There are there are aspects of that where it's like, in the Fallout games, you uh, can go into vaults, which in, in no, the lore, kind of... in the oh, lore. Oh, I can't get over it that way. That's what? actually so hot, Minecraft. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking around with like the the farm and shit, mm-hmm. and I'm also gonna start fucking around with the sheep. So I'm gonna section it off to have more like cattle and stuff. But I think I'm gonna mm. build a bridge across there too. Okay. Because I like the pier, and I know it's for fishing, but I'll, I'll adjust it so it can also be used for fishing. I just, I've suddenly been struck with inspiration for shit to do in Minecraft. <laughs> Homies and actually been having doing that... shit. I was gonna, for real, like, actually, <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been having that same stroke of genius and fucking Animal Crossing. It's gonna like be out of my system in like a couple days. So I gotta make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> for real, but um. But no, th- there is dungeon shit in Fallout. Uh, so there are vaults all across the world that you can mm-hmm. find. And in the lore, the mm-hmm. vaults are what uh, people use to survive the nuclear blast. Yeah, um, I know a little bit of the lore. Like, not a ton of it, but I picked up some of it just by, like, you know, Marcy and shit. Mm-hmm. And from Drew. I can't just credit her, Drew. Yeah, Drew is a big Fallout guy. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, no, you can find, like, vaults like that. And, like, each vault has, like, its own, like, lore and story, which is really cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I think I just saw, like, a YouTube iceberg about that recently, actually. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, Fallout's fucking awesome. And I, I've been, I've been into it, and that's really all I had to say. I, I was mainly just curious if you had, like, taking an interest to the show because it's like i think it's very interesting that like video game adaptations have like both gotten really popular and also like really good Mm -hmm. because we have i'm trying to think like tv shows alone we have like last of us which was really good we have arcane Mm -hmm. yeah we have uh fallout Mm -hmm. there was another one i don't remember what it is what the fuck was it there was like a whole meme that I found of it too, where it was like a group of like really good video game adaptation TV shows, and then like Halo, like <laughs> which yeah. is like really fucking yeah. bad. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember like what the other ones are, and it's not just like the TV shows too. Like the movies have been really good as well, like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, Sonic. the Mario movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure some fucking A24 fan is going to be like, no, the Mario movie was fucking baby shit for kids. And it's like, yeah, that's what I wanted. I didn't, I didn't want Mario to go through like an anxiety crisis because he's not big enough to beat Bowser. I wanted to see funny plumber man beat up giant lizard. That's what I wanted. And that's what I got. It's not perfect. I don't give a shit if it's that. It's not though. It's a dumb, fun movie. That's what I wanted. But uh, Man. yeah, no, I'm 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 very glad that like more video games are being adapted into TV shows. Not just that, but also that my parents are into it because they watched mm-hmm. Last of Us and now they're watching Fallout, which is like, it's weird because it's like, I wish there were more games that were getting adapted, mm-hmm. or at least adapted faithfully, because I can think of like multiple different video games. That either my mom or my dad would like, you know. Mm-hmm. But because they're video games, they they don't they don't play video games. They they just haven't. Like I know for a fact, mm-hmm. my dad would love Half Life. He would love mm-hmm. that shit. Like he is so into like sci-fi shit. But nope, can't make a TV show adaptation of that because Gordon Freeman doesn't talk. And I feel like interesting if, that like. Like, the generation of nerds. Because your parents are like that, and then my parents are like that, too. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like, my dad, he actually... 
He's a jeep. He plays Call of Duty Zombies and fucking <laughs> Battlefront. That's based. That's incredibly based. My mom is also like equal amounts like Star Trek and Star Wars. Fans. Hi there. Would you like to sign my petition? <laughs> <laughs> I guess cool would be a better word than just kind of like Petition? Oh no. <laughs> That's horrific. I Editor, take that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm, I'm fucking begging you. I can't let this be my fucking legacy. <laughs> I can't be remembered as be... that one lady who called her mom. Petition? In, my, in a oh Minecraft my God, Let's Play. I'm actually I'm telling you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is no longer cool or chill. <laughs> I'm actually hating every second of this. I will say, I do like uh -huh. that video games have been around for so long that people who have played mm. video games have now grown up to make it so they can make TV shows and movie adaptations yeah. of games that are like... Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bro, there was a fucking movie that I saw recently that was like... It, it is also... It is almost up to like the Flash levels of like bad where it's like i enjoyed no. the movie i enjoyed <laughs> uh -huh. the movie i thought it was funny but i definitely like the movie tried to be like slightly more serious than it should have been um yeah. it was a 2015 movie uh with simon Pegg in it called absolutely anything and the whole concept okay. of it is that a normal guy is given the powers of a god and with the wave of his hand he can make any absolutely anything happen right and so, you know, your your everyday hijinks ensues where it's like, he, so first of all, he's like a teacher and he has like a really shitty classroom with a bunch of students that he hates. So, so like mm -hmm. when he's given these godlike powers, he jokingly says to his friend, you know, like, oh, I would have my class get destroyed by an entire, by an alien spaceship, like an alien laser. And that happens. <laughs> and he was like, what the fuck? But that can't happen. And he goes home and he's like drinking wine and shit because he feels guilty. And he's like, it wasn't me. If it was me, I like, if I had that ability to do anything, whatever, like, I would just say like, dog poop, clean yourself up, and then it does that. And he's like, what the fuck? I must be. Fr it's got to be like survivor guilt, like, hallucinations, right? Like, I it can't be it. And he like he pours like a wine bottle down the sink, and he says like, wine, go back in the bottle. And he's like, see, it didn't happen. And then he waves his hand. He's like, I gotta wave my hand. But um. And so, like, I saw clips of that on YouTube Shorts, and I was like, you know what? I like Simon Pegg. I think he's fucking hilarious. Shaun of the Dead is one of my favorite movies. The concept seems cool. I'm going to watch the movie. So I watch it, right? It yeah. sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. No. It, it's, like, it's God. one of those movies where it's, like, it's such a cool idea, and they have, like, a really good actor there to back the movie. But it's, like, they don't do anything cool with it where it's, like, they don't do anything cool with the concept of doing anything, absolutely anything, until, like, in the third act, where, like, the movie's wrapping up. Like, oh the entire, the, a <laughs> the actual plot of the movie, instead of, you know, this guy handling him having godlike this power. This motherfucker's trying to get bitched. I'll <laughs> kill you, you son of a bitch. I'll kill yeah, you. Get up. You get up I'll here, I'm gonna beat you. your fucking phone looking ass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get down. Down like the dog you are, you <laughs> son of a bitch. You messed with the wrong person. <laughs> you messed with the wrong whore. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. So, like, the actual plot of the movie is... So, mm. these alien species, they have okay. just... They've just <laughs> intercepted that... You remember that probe that we sent to space with, like math and our music on it and like and shit like that just for for alien life to find us they find the yeah. probe and they're like why does every alien species do this which i think was really funny is like the idea that every single alien species not only sends a probe out to meet other alien life but it all looks the exact same and does the exact same yeah. thing um mm -hmm. and so like we have to put them to the test to see if they know the the difference between right and wrong um, if they do, we'll allow them into our coalition where they can be part of our universal government and shit. And if they don't, we'll blow the fucking planet up and kill everybody. So they, they randomly select, a, uh, the guy and give him the ability to do whatever he wants. 
which you'd think that would be a really cool concept of setting up like the human condition you know like the way society works but no the entire time he's just trying to get with this girl that she's already interested in him but he doesn't ha think that's the case because he just has super low self-esteem so he's just doing yeah. which even then that could be really cool this like the idea of like you know trying to use your powers to woo someone over but they already like you that can set up for a really cool message but like no 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 the entire time simon Pegg's character is just using his magic to do do whatever or his power to do whatever right meanwhile like the girl is trying to escape this like crazy ex-boyfriend that she met like in america um mm. who's like just following her around trying to get with her and shit and like it gets to the point where that guy captures the teacher who has who has the power mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. the entire time he's just like forcing him to just do terrible wishes onto people for no fucking reason so he's like i wish he's like i wish that every single person like every single like white paley british man has big ears and webbed feet and he like he forces him to do it and like i wish that all british off like police officers wore pink uniforms and it's like dude what the fuck are you doing <laughs> like the bad guy is just doing like like needlessly terrible shit for no fucking reason there's no reason other than just he's a bad person yeah um and then fucking they like the girl and uh, the teacher's friend who knows about his powers, right? They save him from the guy and you know, you'd think, oh, th this is the perfect time for them to get together. You know, this would make sense logically. But then she's like, yeah. oh, I'm not interested in you at all because the idea that you can control everything that I do terrifies me. And I was like, okay, okay. Valid. That's, valid. So, valid, That's so valid. Maybe this story can pick this up. But then they, then what the guy does he's like well i can do good things with my powers and he like he's like solve world hunger give everybody like a lot of food right you know like try and solve mm -hmm. world hunger you know make people make it so there is no reason for anybody to go to war at all reverse climate change but then he turns on the tv and sees that all of his good wishes turned into bad wishes because like I, I don't for just stupid reason so it's like because he wished everybody to have a, a, like a lot of food now there's like a fat crisis everywhere right or like an, ob Bruh. an obesity crisis Bruh. everywhere uh, Bruh. 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 because he wished that people shouldn't go to war for any reason now people are just going to war for no reason at all and like now that he's reversed climate change, the entire Earth is now going into an ice age. So he's like, I can't do anything right. These powers are a burden. This sucks. I'm just going to go claws. I'm like, literally, he tries to claws me. Like, I can see where he's coming from. <laughs> that sounds like it just fucking sucks. Like, just blows. Yeah. Ass. But like, so, and, and like, I forgot to mention this uh, earlier. Like, halfway through the movie... He makes it so his, like, his his pet dog, his lovable, trusty pet dog, which every movie like this has to have, like, a lovable, trusty pet dog, like, just like the fucking, mm -hmm. the mask with Jim Carrey, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> he, like, the lovable pet dog jumps in to save him, and they're, they're, like, having a discussion on a bench, and he was like, I shouldn't have this power. I'm gonna give it to my dog who can talk. And, like, the dog is, like, he's intelligent enough to, like, like know what he's doing, right? And mm. the entire time, these aliens are watching him do it. And you think, you know, the aliens want him to do good things and doesn't want him to do bad things, you know. But then they have this twist reveal where it's, like, them going to war, that was a good thing. Them doing this and that, that was a good thing. Him reversing all that, like, they have, like, the exact opposite of what our morality is. Yeah. And so, like, they're like, well, we gotta, we're gonna destroy the planet because they have failed the test. The person doesn't know right from wrong, even though our right from wrong is, diff is like, completely different. And just randomly, for no fucking reason, the dog is like, I want, I want the, the source of this power to be destroyed. For no fucking reason. Which destroys the alien ship and saves the entire Earth. 
the dog, I guess, then resets everything so no one remembers what happened. But the mm -hmm. dog still has the po has the powers. And, like, they turned the bad guy into a dog, too, and he's still a dog. So it's just, like, the movie okay, ends with like... this... The movie ends with S Simon Pegg's character and the girl planning a date. They don't remember what happened. And the dog just has his powers. So, like... Literally nothing in the movie actually fucking happens. It just all gets reset in the end. It's such a bad fucking movie. Like the only fun part Final about decision. it was like the fun part about it, this movie was in the first act where he was just doing funny shit with his powers. Mm -hmm. Like that was it. And then the movie turned into a fucking like attempts to be a romantic comedy. And then it just stopped being fun. It just stopped being funny. And then the, the third act just is like, we haven't done anything about the actual threat in the movie. You know, the thing that we probably should have focused on in the beginning, the whole concept of, like, right from wrong and, and how absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah, no, we're just going to randomly fix that out of nowhere because the dog just randomly says, yeah, I want the power of this. I want the source of this power destroyed. But then he also still has the power. So it's like, what the fuck is this movie? Who wrote it? Why did you write it like this? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> like literally I turned the movie like I when I finished the movie I was like this movie fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That is a doozy. That was a doozy. It is also the end of the episode. I'm glad I got to god end it on that. God motherfucking damn. God motherfucking damn. Ugh. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, we'll see. You. We'll see y'all next time. Bye bye, everybody. I love shitty movies. Shitty movies are fun.